Well, what happened? Em well, Emily, <laughs> Emily popped up, made a little show, and then moved on and just on. as quickly. It's on and it's gone. That's right. Um, pretty good weather as it came through, though, especially in Manatee County and parts right. of Sarasota County along the beaches. I want to show you some video. This comes from Tom Doherty. He's actually one of the meteorologists out at the National Weather Service. Oh, okay. This is in Bradenton. Look at this wind and rain coming through there. Wow. Actually put a tree down, a pretty large size oak tree down out of his yard as well, too. And that's kind of some of the extent of the damages that we've heard about is basically uh, trees down, things like that. It was relatively minor considering everything that happened. So exactly what happened? Okay, so we knew this front was coming, right? This is Saturday afternoon at 6 o'clock. We know it's coming. It's going to stall over top of us. An area of low pressure is going to ride along it, bring some extra rain, and then move off. Well, essentially that's what happened, except that low as it developed. And you can see it right here. Look, it's already starting to show a little bit of rotation. That's not tropical at that point. But as we get towards last night, this is actually Sunday afternoon at 6 o'clock. The rain's moving in. About 150 miles offshore, we've got this thing starting to take shape a little bit along that frontal boundary. Now, as we move through Sunday night into early this morning, this well, 11.15, central dense overcast. What we're saying is that this is starting to take shape. There's a rotation there. There's lots of cloud cover over where that center of the rotation is. The, the Hurricane Center could look at this and say, yeah, that's basically a tropical depression. They decided to do that at 6 o'clock this morning. At that point, it was only 65 miles west-southwest of Tampa. So we woke up. The morning show started with Grant at 4.30 in the morning. And knowing that we're going to get a lot of rain and we had this out here, but then you can see it starts to organize. By 8 o'clock this morning, it now becomes Tropical Storm Emily. It's now only about 45 miles. That's from Tampa. So that's even less from the beaches of Pinellas County. And then it moves on shore right around 1045 uh, near Anna Maria Island. That's basically what you were seeing there from Tom's video that we just showed you. Now, it moved across the area. Look at the little jog that it takes. And then by about 445 this afternoon, they downgraded it to Tropical Depression Emily. It went from Tropical Depression number six to Tropical Storm Emily to get the name, and then as it comes back down, it keeps the name on the way down. As a matter of fact, it looks like now this is likely to come back to Tropical Storm Strength. Not for us, right now it's a depression, 35 mile per hour winds, but this is gonna move off towards the east, northeast, and by tomorrow afternoon, we could be back towards a tropical storm, but eh, it's no, not a worry for us at that point. Winds. This is not a major wind event for us. We had the skyway shut down for a couple of hours. Winds there gusted to 57 miles per hour. Most of the wind gusts that we saw were upper 30s to low 40s, and that's really it. Right now, sustained winds, 10, 15 miles per hour, maybe. Gusts just a little bit higher than that, so things are looking a lot better. There's a live shot from the Don Cesar. There was sunshine out there early this afternoon after the storm came through. A couple of waves of rain are coming through now. 83 degrees in Tampa. It still feels like 89. It's muggy. Dew points did not drop, no dry air coming in. And then radar wise, look right here. You see this little spin here? That's a little bit of light rain left over. And then we're watching these showers that are coming in for Pinellas. This is nothing, no issues, no major problems with that, even for flooding because it's very light rain. These are pretty good downpours. I can't rule out more of those through the evening hours. And they could cause a little bit of ponding of water on the roadways, but that would be just about it. You can see the system riding right along that stalled frontal boundary. That should continue. Now, let's go into the future here. This is tonight. Just a few passing showers as I showed you. Tomorrow morning as we wake up, I think we're fine, headed back to, to work. This is tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. This is around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You see a few pop-up showers, a northerly flow, and then some scattered showers and storms will develop. It's only about a 30 to 40 percent chance. That's Tuesday night. I think we're a little bit drier on Tuesday and Tuesday night. Let's go into Wednesday morning into the afternoon. Here comes that boundary. All of those storms come back. Not tropical. We'll watch it. We'll be watching that boundary but just showers and thunderstorms coming back during the day on Wednesday. So that's going to give us a pretty decent chance for rain. And then behind that on Thursday, we'll actually get back to more of a typical southeast wind, which we haven't seen for almost a week and a half. So we're going to go 90 tomorrow, 40% chance for rain. We're going to bump that up to a good 70 to almost 80% chance on Thursday, but still warm before all that gets in here. And then back behind that, oh, excuse me, Wednesday, Wednesday is our best chance for rain. Back behind that on Thursday, we see those afternoon showers and storms come back, and that's 30, 40, 50 percent through Saturday. That's more typical afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Keep an eye on the rivers. The rivers will be rising, peaking about Wednesday night into Thursday morning. I'll have more of that on my Facebook page.